South Korea will hold a general election next week on April 15th, and today is the first day of early voting. People have the opportunity to cast their ballots ahead of time today and tomorrow between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Things are different this time because of the coronavirus, as our Kim Mogen reports. Voters headed to some 3,500 polling stations nationwide on Friday to cast their ballots for the 300 parliamentary seats that will make up the 21st National Assembly. After presenting ballot ID, voters received two ballots, one to pick candidates for their specific districts and one to choose candidates under the nationwide proportional representation system. There's a great deal of attention on turnout during the early voting period because in the past two large-scale elections, this is when more than one-fifth of the total electorate cast their ballots. Despite concerns about the coronavirus pandemic, turnout as of 4 p.m. has been tallied at 9.74 percent, which is the highest percentage ever recorded at this point in early voting. Citizens say it's even more important to exercise their right to vote at this difficult time. I think overcoming this difficult time by coming out to vote shows the power of the people and the power of our votes. Because so many people are going through hard times right now, I came by from work with the hope of creating a better country for our citizens. As part of efforts to reduce the spread of the virus, the National Election Commission has been disinfecting all polling stations nationwide. When voters enter the polling station, authorities check their temperatures, ask them to spray disinfectants on their hands, wear gloves, and put on a mask. The polling stations are sanitized regularly, and when people wait in line, they're required to stay at least a meter away from each other. The commission also set up special polling stations for voters who've been diagnosed with COVID-19. COVID-19 patients who pre-registered can vote at their respective hospitals and medical centers. Those who are under quarantine at medical centers and weren't able to register can cast their ballots at special early polling stations. There are eight such polling stations up and running at treatment centers across the nation. The NEC says it's still in the process of deciding how to enable people to vote while in self-quarantine. The details of that, it said, will be announced on April 12th. Kim Mo-gyan, Arirang News.